Something that I hate, but I had it in about every event for a year, so it gave me a big opportunity to really work with it quite a bit and kind of dial in my technique. Um, but we will be going over a, uh, pretty much the main cues that are kind of making or break it with this implement to see if we can really get you uh, kind of in the groove with it. Because this is something that is, if you're an inch out of where you're supposed to be, it will let you know immediately and it will feel like 50 pounds heavier. It's that significant with the circus dumbbell um, because you're completely readjusting your center line and you have to be able to counter that and get underneath of it to make it go the way you want it to go. So we'll start off with the clean. Now mainly uh, you're going to want to put both your heels kind of in the center line of the dumbbell. So step up and put your heels center line with this dumbbell and uh, we'll move this back because you want to think like a kettlebell swing. You want this clean to be 90% hips. So you're going to overlap your hands over the dumbbell. Whichever hand you're pressing with will be the one underneath. All right? So his pressing hand is the one underneath. Now what's going to happen, he's going to fire his hips through and launch it up onto his shoulder. Now once you get it up there, you can readjust it with your off hand. But before you press, your hand has to be down and away from it. It cannot be touching that dumbbell. So before he gets it out and around, he's going to fire this elbow underneath. If you want to come around here, Matt, you can see how his elbow is directly under the center of this dumbbell pin. Because that will, if it's not, the dumbbell will actually rotate when he goes to press. So what he's going to do is that he's going to come around the side with this. And he's going to extend out. So, and then he's going to pop his hip to the dumbbell side. Now he's creating a center line between his wrist straight down through his body. So he's going to press this over his, the center of his head, like crosshairs, like a grid line right here. He's going to dip, drive, knees firing out over his toes, quick, hard dip like you would be doing on a push press. The goal here is speed, not depth, because you want that explosiveness going directly into the dumbbell. So if you want to give it a give it a go real quick here, good, yep. If you notice how he pressed this way, he didn't press out, he didn't press straight up, he pressed towards the center line of his head. Again. Good. Short, choppy leg drive. It, everything looks together. He's bracing before he presses. If you notice how he was kind of shaking a little bit, that's because he was holding his brace, which is what he's supposed to do. So the biggest thing is I get two braces. I brace before I clean. And I never completely exhale because my chest sinks. Your chest sinks, you lose real estate. You don't want your brace to fail under load. And then what I do is, it's short choppy press, breathing under tension. And then when I take that deep breath, that's when I pop that hip out. I can still get full range of motion. It's here, under. If you notice how I shoot underneath the dumbbell, it's not out here, it's here. So I'm actually away from it, I call this Four points of contact, my forearm, my grip, my shoulder, and my head. So then it's stable. So if you look, there's no rolling. I can do all kinds of stuff and this dumbbell's not going anywhere. So it's where I need it to be. I'm dipping, driving, boom, and I'm shooting to the dumbbell. Give that another shot. Yep. Get tight, less air, dip drive to the dumbbell. Good. Yep. Good. Nice. 
So have you ever done this for reps? Like clean and press? No. So um, you, when you do clean and presses, you actually don't have to set the whole dumbbell down. You can just tap. So I would definitely take that opportunity and you can almost like bounce it if they have like rubber matting down. So you come down. I tap down here so I get more hips into the clean. So whereas some people do it up front, but it'd be like on the deadlift. If the dumbbell's out in front of you, it's going to feel heavier. So I tap directly between my legs, so I come down, boom, up, all hips, kettlebell swing. Now I almost drop under on the clean when I get in that rhythm, so I use, a, I become a little more efficient instead of like muscling it up. So here, catch, up, dip and drive. Think about throwing and catching. Good. Throw and catch. Boom. Good. Yep. Snappy. Yep. Good. Brings the dumbbell out. Center line. Boom. Throw and catch. Direct input to power. It's a straight line. Yep. Good. He is driving up towards his head. How much experience do you have with this? I know you've worked with it with yeah, Joey. Yeah, because your, your technique is pretty, you, everything's tight. Right. Um, it, for the most part, it's where it should be. Uh, you could probably get a little bit more leg drive out of it, honestly. Um, just think about hitting a little bit harder, a little bit faster. And uh, you, do, do you ever jerk it? Like drop oh, under? Huh? Of course! He says of course. He says no. no. Um, have you ever tried? No. Because that's a quick way to add on like 15, 20 pounds okay. on a circus dumbbell is dropping under. Now, here's the thing about when you get heavy on a circus dumbbell is your body's just thinking it needs to go up. So you get to like triple extension and you forget about it and I'm guilty of it. When I have like a 200 plus pound dumbbell on my shoulder, it's like, I just need to press. Like that video of you, you I mean, you were just in a rhythm, mindless work, just throwing it up. So, but when you're going for that like one rep max, it gives you a little bit of time to think about it and really, on your work build up to that max, gives you an opportunity to kind of dial things in and drill that jerk to get underneath of it. And it's literally just a little, that's why your hips pop. Okay. So it pushes you, so when you do jerk, you see where my hip goes? Right. To the dumbbell, I shoot my hip and my body underneath of it. Because okay. if you don't, look where my arm is, right. be out here, if you hold it straight above you. Now I have a direct center line for my wrist and my belly button. Make sense? Yep. All right. See what you got. Try and get a like a little quick jerk underneath of it. Come on, Jeremy. Hand off before you press. Dip and drive, and get under. Good. He actually did a really good job of shooting underneath of it that time. Boom. Yep. Good. Yep. Nice. Now, in, in competition, the one thing from a judge's standpoint I would say was you, you want to do this with any lift in general is command that down command. So when you get to that lockout and it's your lockout, you know what your lockout feels like. Make eye contact with the judge because when they see you're consciously calling for that down command, they're going to they're gonna be a lot more pressured to give that to you versus you just kind of mindlessly just leaving it up to them. So make that eye contact. Do not give them, give them, what am I trying to say? Don't give them any other option but to give you a down command because it, it's, it's kind of like a little mental game. So they see you're ready and, and you're like, yeah, hey, yeah. Th they're going to be way more inclined to give it to you. Um, your dumbbell looks great, man. Uh, you don't really need to jerk as much because your range is 
a motion or shorter, mm -hmm. um, and you're you're pretty you're pretty snappy uh, with it. So I wouldn't say even worrying about the jerk, but for just for most people out there, I would 100% work on that jerk. Whether if you have any questions on how to jerk on a push press, that's your guy right there, 100%. Just for honest, um, I don't even know how he's getting signal in here. Um, What's <laughs> it? Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I got for you, man. It looks good. Um, just keep working on it, and you'll keep getting stronger at it. You're, you're strong, so. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat>